See this thing? Looks pretty easy, right? I mean, it's just a bevel and a straight cut and then you cut around. Well, not really. You have to make some special geometry and if you don't know the trick, this part is going to be really tough to cut. Let me show you. didn't turn out that bad. Let me show you how to program it. Let's open iGEMS Open Samples and CAD Draw. So this this is actually a good thing we have to use our align tool again. Cam align this button and now it's placed onto the table this is a tricky part to cut, or to program, or it can be. Uh, you have to think outside the box a little bit, because there's going to be a problem right here. Because if I would have put a over curve here and an under curve here, that would result in a not so good uh, cut. So what we want to do is draw some geometry on this part. I'll head over to CAD, Circle, or C on the keyboard. I want to use a snap. I use nearest because it doesn't matter where we put this as long as it's on this top uh, on these top arcs. So here I press N for near on the keyboard, N for near again, like that. Circle with C again, N, near, N, near, N, near. That gives us the ability to head over to cam, curves, pick edges, and I'll pick this and this. I also pick a surface, which is the bottom surface, enter. And I head over to the toolpath plus and I'll select this top curve. I'll select uh, a starting position which is gonna be right uh, here because we we don't we're gonna cut this away anyway so it's gonna be a better cutting result. I click here it asks for a specified endpoint. I hit enter to go all the way around which side do I want to cut on? This side or this side? This side uh, feels good for me. Click here and select lower curve. Now I select this curve. Lead in. You see it, if I rotate this thing it snaps right here. And this red circle is our predefined lead in length. So if I hit enter it will select the length of this radius or you see there's a blue line there I can if I click on the mouse it will select this blue uh, length as the leading length but I hit enter and lead out enter now what you see here is there's a red vector here which starts at the top curve and ends at the bottom curve. And this length is the length that we um, calculate the speed uh, for the cut. But we want this to go all the way down to the table. So I'm going to change my engagement from upper curve to lower curve to upper curve to table. And if, when I click here, look at the red vectors. They go all the way down to the material. Next, add another toolpath. I select the bottom geometry. I'll start in here. Click, enter for all the way around. This side again. Now select lower curve. 
we don't have a lower curve, we only have one curve. So we're gonna make, make a fixed cut out of this. So I hit enter. A fixed cut is a cut which only has one um, uh, angle, so to say. Um, this is perpendicular to the table. So start uh, leading, lead out. But now you see there is one problem because this cut is sitting on the bottom of the um, uh, part. So I want to change the tool position from follow. Follow means it's going to follow the top geometry or top curve. I want to change that to fixed C. And look what happens now. It jumps up to the top of the material. And I also want to change my engagement. So we have from tool to table. That means we are uh, measuring the distance from the top of the tool, which is up here, to the table. And of course, I forgot. Uh, no, I didn't. Can go to toolpath again and we select this outer geometry. Let's start in this corner since our other cuts are in here. I click, enter, uh, no lower curve, start, stop. Same on this thing. Fix C and Engagement is tool to table. Like that. So that's how you manipulate the 3D model uh, with your own CAD geometry, which can be very handy in some situations. Um, let me show you one more thing. You see these blue lines here? These are our rapids. We can change them using a rapids command. Um, if I want to have a specified distance, let's say 20 millimeters, I can just click distance here and all of them will um, go to um, 20 millimeters, which is really good for this situation, but we have more settings about these here. Okay, that's our second part in the 3D5 examples library.